This quick tip is about giving our learners time to think. There's tons of research that says that as learning facilitators, as teachers, we typically wait less than three seconds before we actually respond to our own question, call on a kiddo, or just move on. Three seconds. And then I move on. So you can overcome this and when you do, you give your learners time to think, have better answers, and engage in the learning especially helpful for your kids who need time to process. Maybe they have some language translations and they're ready to engage, but they need time. Or maybe they're internal processors instead of your external processors. I have a pre-K teacher here in Edmond who taught me, she teaches her little ones to go, it's time to think, and every one of them goes, hmm, instead of raising their hand before they even have an answer. I know a high school teacher in Edmond who told their students that they were going to specifically work on wait time this year. And that way when it was awkward, the kids knew why, and they could even occasionally say, we don't need more time to think, we're confused and we need clarification. Even as a workshop facilitator for adults, I have to count to five slowly, often to 10, before I move on and call on someone. It's uncomfortable in the wait time. It's uncomfortable as the person doing the waiting. But what would happen if your learners had actual time to think before you ask them to respond?